worst possible conditions, the first cars get away on their 181 laps journey. The big cars have to give the little ones nearly half an hour's start. Here they go. conditions necessitated the retirement of such famous drivers as John Cobb, as it was impossible for the larger cars to hold the track at high speed. In spite of everything, Freddie Dixon completed the course at an average speed of nearly 105 miles an hour. I hope next year we have a crack at it in the dry. Another cheer for Freddie! Hip, hip, hooray!